So this is the Cloud X from On. Um, On, if you don't know the brand, has been around for about five years, six years now, coming up to. Um, and it's probably really important that I talk about the brand first and kind of you can see a key thing about the shoe that's different from any other are these. So these little pods are what they call clouds and it's a reason why with every shoe that they create the first word of the name is cloud. So um, these little pods, if I zoom in on here, you can see are square mainly um, and what they aid to do is basically increase your propulsion as you're coming off the ground. So if you compress one of these pods as you put your weight through it, the pod as you then start to tra traverse that movement forwards will increase again. So that increasing of that pod will aid your responsiveness basically off the ground. And they'll also help obviously on initial contact because when you make that contact the pod will de depress and then obviously help to slow that movement as you come through. So really innovative, cool biomechanical geeky technology for someone like me. Um, so yeah, that's why on look different and it's also why they work quite well. Um, so yeah, in terms of the Cloud X, we've got pods all the way through and you can see on the outsole that you've got different colors and that's purely just because they're increasing the grip on the lateral side when you're making for contact and then a toe off all the way through that four foot area there. In terms of rocks, that's something people really ask me about. Not rocks, stones and things when you're running on gravel. Does it get stuck in here? I'm not going to lie to you, it, it can do. But it doesn't have a massive impact on the feel. So this is why this shoe as well is more of that faster, racier shoe. You're not going to, I personally wouldn't run distance in it. Um, that's just me. Someone maybe who's a little bit more elite might decide to run distance in this shoe. Okay, jumping back onto the upper of this shoe so you can see the forefoot, quite a nice shape, not too wide, not too narrow, um, but it gives quite a nice snug fit. It does taper into the toes, but it's not very kind of narrow through that end point. There is a little bit more of a squareness to it. As you then come through the midfoot, nice reinforcement from an extra material through here, um, and the tongue sits really nice and flat against the top of the ankle joint. We then come into the back of the heel and you can't really see it, but through here is there's some padding that sits all the way around that heel cup. So when your foot's in there, that feels really nice and really kind of cushioned and held through the back. Um, again, one of those shoes where I wouldn't seem classically or aware of the heel hold, um, but once your foot's in there, I don't feel like it's gonna slip out. For me overall, I would really use this shoe kind of more for your, your gym work, your light 5Ks. I wouldn't look to do distance in this shoe. Um, but in general, from on, it's another great shoe just to throw into the mix there. Um, I will be reviewing one of their shoes called the Cloudflow in the future, which I really, really love. Um, so look out for that one. Um, but yeah, Cloud X, come out in November this month.